Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to Content Science. If you're into systematizing your business, scaling your operations, removing yourself, gaining back your time, your freedom, then this content's for you. Today I'm going to talk about the NFA methodology for attracting more attention, top of funnel leads, organic content, social media stuffs. So it's Friday, I'm walking around my house like a schmo and I uh, just want to get this video out to you. Uh, I, I continually see when I work with clients, there's a disparity about how they're producing content and what they think the meaning of content at scale means. So I just sort of came up with this little acronym, the NFA acronym, that will help not only add more leads to your pipeline, will also help you stand out, sort of create your niche of one, your industry of one. So if you're struggling to get attention online right now, uh, reach is down, impressions are down, we're all feeling it. This will separate yourself in 2024. So the N, what does the N stand for? N is, ne N is niche. Most people completely skip over the niche research. If you're in the... I don't know how to grow a YouTube channel in 2024 space. Like if that's your niche, right? Social media growth, hacking the algorithm. There is no reason in hell why you shouldn't know every single major player on YouTube who's talking about the exact same content that you are. And once you do this, you start to see patterns, especially with the, the larger creators, the larger influencers, the personal brands that are more well-recognized. You know exactly what an Alex Hormozy style video is going to look like. You know exactly what the thumbnail of a Gary V YouTube video, long form video is going to look like. Um, the reason why is because they've done the research in their niche, but that leads me to the F. So once you've done the research, you spot the patterns, you see the style and the topics of content that these people are uh, getting noticed for, the formatting of how you bring your core message to the market is going to really be important here. So uh, I'll use myself as an example. So I just recently passed 10,000 followers on LinkedIn. And one of the sort of uh, initiatives that I set a few months ago was a, a weekly episode, it was like a race to 10K, a uh, race to 10,000 followers thing where I saw my LinkedIn feed was just getting very boring and I said, how can I spice it up? Like, how can I just do something different that other people start talking about or remember or wanna keep coming back to my content and showing up to, to watch, to view, to read, to comment, to engage for it. So I started sort of the weekly episode race to 10k race to 10,000 followers thing and I shared all of my data I shared my metrics my impressions my engagement rates I shared uh, content that worked uh, lessons I learned things I botched my failures my wins everything along the way and that transparency the differentiation of the format and how I presented my core message uh really struck a match. It struck a chord with, with just a lot of people, a lot of new followers. People kept asking me in the DMs like, hey, you know, where's the race to 10K when I would miss a week or two? Um, it just set myself apart kind of in my branding. And that leads me to the A part. So the A is the, the attention aspect of it. So you've done the niche research. You know who the key players are. You've spotted the patterns in their topics, their content the style, how they show up, right? Whether or not they're, they look like me and they're holding a little mini microphone here, a little lapel mic, or they're, you know, over at a desk and they're just, you know, camera on the desk and they're just sort of solo style. There's faceless YouTube channels that are blowing up where you don't even have to show your face or record any vocals. You can actually outsource the voiceovers. So how you show up is, um, uh, very important, but it will create the burning lasting impression when someone views your content and leaves the platform. If you have something that's noticeable about yourself, about your house, right? About the way that you talk, uh, maybe it's your look. Maybe you just have a unique look about you that no one else in your niche does. 
these things all sort of play into the memorable factor of, again, when someone sees one piece of content and then you show up again on the suggested feed, they immediately know what to expect because you're consistent in your formatting, you're consistent in your messaging within the niche, and then you're consistently getting attention by being unique, slightly different than the other players in your space. So that's the NFA model. Um, it's just a very simple sort of, I don't know, three-step framework for whenever you're creating organic content. You just ask yourself, like, am I speaking the right words, the right core message to the right audience? Is my formatting on brand consistent with what I want to be remembered for? And then the attention part is, how do I want to be remembered? How do I want to show up? What unique uh, unfair advantage do I have that I can show to my audience and uh, show up in the market for? So if you're interested in more content like this, my name is Ryan Hutchinson. I'm the founder of Content Science. You'll find a lot of my podcast videos on here as well. But if you're someone that's looking to scale an agency or an online business in 2024, subscribe. You'll enjoy this content. Hope you have a wonderful weekend.